how to connect a DVD or Blu-ray player to your TV. DVD and Blu-ray players come with several ports to connect them to TVs and other devices. If your device has HDMI, this will be your best connection. You can use an HDMI cable. This is the best connection. It is a single cable that carries both high-definition 1080p video and audio from your DVD or Blu-ray player to your TV. To use this configuration, connect one end of the cable to the DVD or Blu-ray player's HDMI out and the other end to the TV's HDMI in. Use the Source button on your TV remote to navigate to the HDMI section to view the DVD or Blu-ray. You will now be able to watch movies. You can use component cables. Component connections are the red, blue, and green ports that can be found on the DVD or Blu-ray players. All three connections handle video only, so you'll also need an RCA cable to handle the audio. To use this configuration, connect one end of the cable set into the component out on the DVD or Blu-ray player, while connecting the other end into the component in on the TV. Use the Source button on your TV or remote to navigate the component section to view the DVD or Blu-ray. You will now be able to watch movies. If your device doesn't have HDMI or a component cable, you can use the composite or RCA connections. They are the cables with the red, yellow, and white ports. The yellow connection is for the video and the white and red connections for the sound. To use this configuration, connect one end of the cable set into the composite slash RCA out on the DVD or Blu-ray player, while connecting the other end to the composite slash RCA in on the TV. Please note that on some models there is no yellow port. If that's the case on your TV, please use the green port. Use the source button on the TV or remote to navigate to composite RCA to view the DVD or Blu-ray. You will then be able to watch movies. We hope this has made your setup easier. For additional setup information, please visit elementelectronics.com.